What up, Brother Jones here, and check this out. We got a banger build today. Now, I'm going to show all my Playmaking Glass or Smith 2K's Playmaking Glass. Shout out to him. He let me use his Playmaking Glass. I'm going to show you the badges that he got set up on them. You know what I'm saying? I tweaked it around a little bit because I wanted to get a gist of what, you know what I'm saying, what I'm going to have to do with it. You know what I'm saying? Now, Play Glass is a good build. It's a good ISO build if you know how to make it right. Now, me personally, I'm not the biggest fan on how he made it. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you the best way on how I made it. But first, we got to show y'all gameplay on it. But even before that, a large percent is a sub. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that sub button. Remember, you can always change your mind later. This is all the badges, Limitless Takeoff, Posterizer. Y'all know Limitless Takeoff is the best finishing badge in the game. You just fly to the paint. Now this is the stats he got, you know what I'm saying? He chose a 75 ball control. He chose to get more of a big, you know what I'm saying? He, he chose more of the center side of it. But it's still able to ISO and we still gonna ISO with it, you know what I'm saying? We still gonna do our thing with it regardless. But you can tell this is more catered to be a center than a guard, you know what I'm saying? But we still got slash and take to get contact dumps, etc. We got all that. So make sure you hit that like button, hit that like button, man. 5K likes, man. I gotta hit the like button more, man. And we trying to hit 400K, like I said earlier, sub, man. 400K is right there at the edge, man. Help me get there. Let's get to the gameplay. All right, y'all, so check this out, man. We got the playmaking glass cleaner, you know what I'm saying? Running my boy Q Mingo. Now we about to go crazy on this. Now check this out. This build is an ISO machine. When centers go against this build, they ain't gonna know what to do. If you know how to shoot, listen to me. If you know how to shoot, they ain't gonna know what to do. If you can't shoot, they know what to do. They gonna stand in that paint and let you drive. But see, here's the thing. You don't even have to force the midi. I mean, the three. You can hit the midi. A lot of people feel forced to shoot the three on builds like this. You don't have to shoot the three. You can take one step in and your jump shot percentage goes up tremendously. And you gonna hit it even more likely. Especially if you got hot zone like... Bruh, like that, once you start popping the midi, they gonna have to come out that paint, and that's when you can exploit limitless takeoff, you feel me? You don't have to force the three. A build like a playmaking glass don't have the best three-pointer. Let's let's keep it a buck. Their three-pointer is dangerously low. It's like a 64. You can green with it. Don't get it twisted. You can still green, but why not shoot that midi? Stroke! Why not shoot that midi? The midi open. If the midi open, you gotta shoot that thing, bruh. That, you know what I'm saying? You got to. It's If it's there, shoot it. Because if you don't, they just gonna stand in pain. Now look at him. You see how he pressed up now? Now it's a blow by. You see, I, I be giving y'all all kind of pro tips, bro. All my, all the people that's trying to get better, I'm giving y'all tips, man. You don't have to shoot the three. Step in, pop the midi. Be a midi demon. He gonna have to come up and he gonna have to try to find her in the middle. Once again, look at this. Because I hit that one three, y'all. Now the lane's open. You feel me? Because I hit that three, now the lane's open. Now he switched to his boy, but he forgot old boy's a play shot. So you already know this game catered to play shot. This game not catering no playmaking glass. This game is specifically made for play shots. Honestly, the only builds you need in this game are play shots. That is it. Once you get you a play shot, bruh, nothing else matters. You see I'm hitting the corner threes. It's easy on this build. Corner threes are automatic with 63 balls. You don't even need a 70. All you need is like a 60. Look at this. Now I got slash and take. He's standing in the paint again. Guess what? Drop! Once again, in the paint. At this point, you can go ahead and dance. I'm going to hit you a little dance because it's over. With slash and take, it's 20 points. All you need is one dunk. All you need is one dunk or a midi. Get with which one you want to give me. You're going to give me the midi or the dunk. Which one? You look like you give me the dunk because you're stepping up close. You give me the dunk committee. Which one? And there you go. Limitless takeoff. <laughs> the most, the second, nah, I say like the third most toxic badge. All right, blinders and mismatch are bef above this, of course. But blinders and mismatch ruin the game. I ain't gonna lie to you. Blinders and mismatch ruin the game. That's why you got a little 5 10 play shots and 5 7s on current, on next gen going crazy because of that badge. They need a badge to shoot over people, you know what I'm saying? Like jump shots. Like, why don't they got that? They got the baby one. Why can't we get one a boost to have a big stretch and shoot over guards? Oh, but oh, that's too overpowered. Oh, 
Oh, mismatch isn't. Mm, okay, 2K. I see how y'all rolling. But y'all ain't ready for that combo. Let's get back to the gameplay. All right, mom, I'm going two off the rails, man. Playmaking glass is not a threes build. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm not gonna cap, but we made it work. Playmaking glass is a twos build. I don't recommend you ever go to threes with playmaking glasses because it... I don't know. You just need more space, man. You just need more space. You just need to ISO the center. Playmaking glasses are 1v1 and 2v2s. You can make it work on threes. You can make it work. You know what I'm saying? You can get creative. You know what I'm saying? Like we doing. I can make anything work. I can make a, all pure slashes work. You know what I'm saying? It'd be lob mania out here. But this, you just spread it out and get you two pure shooters, which is what I got. I got two sharps, and then we're going to go crazy that way. You know what I'm saying? Where if you help, it's an automatic bucket. You know what I'm saying? In theory. <laughs> it should be. You know what I'm saying? Some people can't shoot with 93 balls in this game. Now, if you can't shoot with a 93 ball in this game, you're shooting like 10 for 20 and all that. Yo, you got to go, bro. You, this ain't your game. You need to go play some Roblox, Minecraft, Madden, Fortnite, something. You know what I'm saying? You need to play something else because 2K ain't your game if you can't shoot with a 93 ball. Or even a, if you can't shoot with an 88. Anything higher than 85 should be automatic for everybody. Now we got slash and take, though. You know what I'm saying? I take it in, easy lays, man. Like, if it's a guard on you, you're going to take it in every single play. They cannot stop you. Look at this. In and left. I hit him. He hits me back. But guess what? The vision, I see him, and I hit him. Now, let me show you how to make this deadly build my way. It don't really matter about the jersey number. The hand is to your preference, bro. Now, this is going to be my way. I'm not one of them play glasses that's about to have one finish. Y'all got me messed up. To me, that ain't a play glass. I, I don't even care if the name truly come out play glass. It probably will. But what matters to me is that we get the badges right. You know what I'm saying? The badge setup and the stats right. So, of course, you want to pick red and yellow pie chart. All right. We're going to go red and yellow. We're going to go physical. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to bump these up to get seven. All right, right at seven. We already looking solid. We're gonna bump these up to get seven. Can you get away with seven? Yes, you can. You can get away with seven. I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna show you how to get away with seven. Playmaking, we're gonna go ahead and do this until we get about 19. Right at 19, you know what I'm saying? And we solid. Now the rest, we're gonna put interior D, offensive rebound, defensive rebound, block, Lat or perimeter, you know what I'm saying? One of you two, you can pick one. Why am I not upgrading steel? Because you steals, you don't need it, bro. I thought you needed steel. Yeah, I'm slowly finding out you don't need steel ratings, bro. This game's terrible as far as stealing and defense. There's no defense in this game. You don't need steel. You can have it, but you don't need it. Put interceptor on, you still gonna steal it. It ain't like next gen where you don't upgrade steel, you can't get steals. This game, if you put on interceptor, you're gonna get steals no matter what so especially you got a long wingspan which we will so body type we can go like compact burly probably burly i ain't gonna lie burly we gonna go like six seven you know what i'm saying now look at the stats already our stats just went through the roof out of nowhere we're gonna lower that weight so we're gonna have a 90 some speed like 98 speed when we done bruh look at this 77 ball control but it's gonna end up being a 80 when we're done we're also getting contact dunks when we're done now the weakness is the shooting all right but look we got a 68 midi remember what i said early in the gameplay if you don't know what i said early in the gameplay you skipped it go back and find out what i was talking about with the mid range if you watched it you seen what i talked about all right so next thing we're gonna go ahead now the takeovers i will always suggest you choose slashing on a play glass it's just better it just gives you better stats you still get a ball control boost playmaking is terrible all right if you put playmaking take i feel bad for you you're not getting no ankles all right it, it just ain't working slash and take is the move so you want to go there slashing and you oh we got a playmaking glass I, I was scared i wasn't gonna get the name but we still got the name playmaking glass this is a solid playmaking glass and then at 39, you can add a badge to so it's shooting if you wanted to. All right, now for the badges. Now, check this out. I'm going to go shooting because that's the thing you, most people are going to be worried about. Gold sniper off the rip. You need bronze lucky. 
stop and pop at least silver and bronze catch and shoot this is what you need why you don't need blindness because most people are not pressing you like that you don't need dead eye you're gonna be getting left open most of the time anyway so catch and shoot is in case you miss your center or guard gets the ball and hits you or if your guard drives and kicks you it hits you and you get a boost lucky seven is perfect for twos because when you got the ball in the beginning of possession, they just leave you open. That's green. Sniper helps you shoot and stop and pop. You can just like literally, if they leave you open, you can just dribble, stop, and shoot. And you'll get all three of these boosts at the same time. But uh, if you don't care for stop and pop, or you can spread it out like this, have hot zone and stop and pop. You know what I'm saying? Hot Zone Hunter is good, but as long as you got Hot Zone, you can shoot with it. Hot Zone Hunter is going to boost it, of course. You know what I'm saying? If you don't care for catch and shoot, you can do this as well. You know what I'm saying? This too will also work. So, we're going to leave it like this and say you don't want catch and shoot. We can leave it just like this and we'll still be solid. Finishing, this is all you need, bro. Gold, bronze, gold. And you're good. Trust me. That's all you need. Um, this, man, this don't, man, this is, I will put Space Creator on. Space Creator is fire, y'all. Y'all all sleep. Hall of Fame this, gold handle, you're not going to be really dribbling too crazy. You're going to need Hall of Fame unplugged because you got a low ball control. Bullet at least silver. Uh, bell out if you one of those. That's what I am, so I do that. And you can do quick chain like silver, bro. I mean, honestly, you're not going to be zipping around too hardcore. Or you can do hyper. You know what I'm saying? You could take those out and, like, do them too you know what i'm saying it doesn't matter how, it just it depends on how you play bro it depends on how you play so we can do that and as far as the center you're gonna need rebound chaser because you're gonna probably go against centers you're gonna need intimidator at least gold interceptor bronze to get a little steals hustler holly best badge in the game <laughs> i'm joking i'm joking mismatches but hey it helps out chase down box uh Clamps, in case you have to switch for some random reason. Tireless Defender, Pogo, and the rest, uh, I don't know, you get Hall of Fame in Intimidator, and you solid. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Hashtag do your thing if you made it this far in the video. Leave a like, sub if you're new. To the next video, I'll see y'all then, man. Peace.